Hello and welcome back to our YouTube series. In our last video, we talked about sustainable societies in the classic track, as well as the differences between the two courses and the opinions of students who have taken these classes. However, who better to tell us about these classes than the professionals who teach it themselves? It's my great pleasure to introduce Professor Ross, who will be teaching social sciences this upcoming fall, and Professor Runnerstrom and Professor Ferguson who have taught sustainable societies in the past and will continue to teach it this upcoming year. Without these faculty, our honors curriculum wouldn't be as diverse as it is today. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Ross. This fall, I will be teaching a class with Professor Lilleholm on causation. Causation is a topic that is of interest to all sorts of people. It has been studied by philosophers for over two millennia. It is a topic that scientists view as absolutely fundamental to the work that they do. And we care about causation in our everyday lives. We want to know what caused that car crash to happen and what caused our smoke detector to go off. One of the main questions that we will be focused on in this class is what is causation? In particular, we're going to explore how exactly causation should be understood and defined, and in particular, how it's understood in scientific contexts. Now, what do you have to look forward to in taking a class like this? A first thing that you have to look forward to is that this is a very interdisciplinary course. Professor Lilleholm is a cognitive scientist who studies causation. I am a philosopher of science with a background in medicine who also studies causation. So we'll be focused on work in philosophy and the natural sciences that bears on this main question and related questions. A second thing to look forward to is that this class will focus on examining the scientific method. In particular, we'll look at how scientists set up their experiments such that they can distinguish true causal relationships from mere correlations. And a third thing to look forward to is that we'll get to see how causation relates to our everyday lives and how there are shared reasoning strategies that we find in both scientific and ordinary life contexts. Finally, why do I enjoy the topics that are taught in this class? Why do I enjoy the topic of causation? Um, I enjoy this topic first because it really matters. It really matters whether we think vaccines cause disease or whether we think they cure disease. It matters how we attribute blame in identifying causes of a car crash, for example. Philosophy and science provide us with clear principled ways to address these very difficult and very important questions. Second, a second reason why I enjoy the topics in this class is that they help tell us why science is so special and how exactly it gives us accurate information about the world. This can help clarify why we should trust scientific claims as opposed to the horoscope that you might find in the newspaper. This is at the heart of science, but it's really also at the heart of understanding in learning about the world around us. So on that note, we look forward to meeting you this fall, welcoming you to our class, and examining these topics with you. Hello there, I'm Mariah Gould Runnerstrom, an Associate Professor of Teaching in the Program in Public Health. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the CITES course, which is the two-quarter capstone course series for the Sustainable Societies track that's part of the CHC. I'm one of the instructors for this course, and I've taught it for the last two years. I think one of the things I really enjoy about this course is that we get to know the students really well, we work on a lot of fun projects in class, and that throughout the two quarters, you build towards a final project and presentation that you give to the entire CHC community. And we even invite some people from across campus outside of CHC to attend. So your work has good exposure on the campus. 
I also enjoy that we get to talk about some of these more wicked problems of climate change and global sustainability and equity and access to green space and infrastructure and cities and how all of this fits together with policies and planning to build a more sustainable city that all of us can enjoy. I think it's really valuable for the students in the course because um, all of our students have come from different backgrounds and different majors, different perspectives. So we have an abundant diversity that um, is expressed through our class discussions. And I think it's just really helpful for everybody um, to see these, these um, different um, perspectives in class and how it plays out in real time. Um, I look forward to continuing to teach this course. Every year we learn new things and we change things up um, to address these problems as they're unfolding. Um, so I hope that we get a chance to meet in a future course as part of the CHC. Thanks. My name is Professor Ferguson and I teach two of the classes in the Sustainable Societies track. In particular, I teach the classes in winter and spring in the first year of the sequence, and my classes focus on environmental aspects of sustainability. So in the first quarter, we focus on climate change, the causes and the potential solutions, as well as impacts on society. And in the second quarter, we change gear and we think about how do we provide enough fresh water to everyone on Earth and how do we feed everyone? We regard these as basic human rights, but there's still millions, if not billions of people around the world that suffer from having to drink dirty water or suffer from hunger. And so I'm a scientist. I am interested in the scientific aspects and solutions uh, around these uh, issues. However, this class is also taught by a policy professor and a business professor. And I've learned a huge amount from uh, listening to them in the last few years because we also get to explore what is it going to take for society to actually change? How is it that we adopt these new technologies? How do we incentivize businesses to do things differently? How do we change the psychology um, of the general public? Um, and how does the political system deal with these issues as well? Um, and so we really think mainly about the solutions aspect of these problems. Um, and so if you're a science major, you get to think about how does society actually take our science um, and incorporate that and create good policy. And if you're a humanities or a social science major, you get to think about how your what you're learning can influence um, the science um, and how you can help us solve some of these problems, because ultimately these problems are going to take all of us to solve. And so I hope to see you in sustainable societies in future years. Again, I'd like to thank these amazing professors for sharing their different experiences in their field with us. No matter whether you decide to take Sustainable Societies or the Classic Track, you'll gain indispensable knowledge no matter what your major is. Students of any major can choose between Sustainable Societies and the Classic Track. For example, lots of non-science majors decide to take Sustainable Societies. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.